I want to bring in House Minority Whip Steny Hoyer from Maryland. He's the second highest ranking Democrat in the House. Uh, Congressman uh, Hoyer, thanks so much for being here. Thank We've been you, trying Jake. to get you on the show for six months. I appreciate <laughs> I have to come to you, but you're, but you're here. So these piecemeal approaches, they could fund veterans' benefits. They could fund the National Park Service. Are, are House Democrats willing to go along with that? Are Senate Democrats? This is a game, Jake. Um, uh, Nunes referred to it as an oxymoron that they had a strategy. Uh, they've shut down the government. Uh, they think that gives them leverage to accomplish what they couldn't accomplish in the election. Uh, and it's uh, harmful to the American people. The losers are not uh, uh, the silent majority in the Republican conference. Uh, the losers are the American people. Their government is now shut down. Their government is not available to serve them as they want themselves served, as it ought to serve them. Uh, clearly, uh, Americans want an efficient, effective uh, government, but they don't want no government. They know that's not the case. Well, we don't and have no government. It's a partial shutdown. I mean, we still have most of the government is working. Well, when you say most of the government was working, I just talked to the people at Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, there are 3,000 employees. 68 are now left as full-time employees. They've got part-time they're keeping. Uh, the Mars program uh, may be slowed down by 18 months as a result of the shutdown, depending upon how long uh, it takes, because they've got timelines they have to meet, and if they miss them, they, it puts them back. All right. So this is, taking. Yeah, this is not just uh, uh, a, a marginal impact. Uh, on the government. This is a very substantial impact. And I, I know you have a lot of, living in Maryland, representing Maryland, do you have a lot of constituents? All over the country we have a lot of federal employees. So, uh, Congressman DeSantis, who is just here, who's one of the individuals in the House Republican Conference pushing uh, this strategy, uh, said that he thinks that members of Congress should forego their salaries uh, while government shuts down, shutdowns take place. What, what do you think? Look, I, th I think that's another game that they want to play, uh, appealing to a demagogic uh, approach to this rather than uh, we frankly the members of Congress ought to be on the job working hard getting this job done for the American people getting their government opened uh, getting federal employees back to work and serving the public serving the growth of our economy serving our national security ends uh, all of these uh, extrinsic issues these side issues that they want to bring up which they think are politically salient uh, miss the point of their irresponsibility in shutting on government. They say they don't want to do that. They've done it. And they did it 17 years ago. Do you think uh, the Democrats, and specifically President Obama, is responsible in any way uh, for people not fearing a government shutdown as much as perhaps they did 17 years ago because there was so much talk about what would happen during the sequester? Uh, and then ultimately, people didn't see a result in front of them. I mean, some people did, but but the mass public did not see a, a horrific uh, uh, situation after the sequester hit. I, I think the answer is that the when the sequester hit, uh, you're correct. There wasn't the slamming of a door as there was uh, today. Today there was a slamming of door. There wasn't a slamming of door uh, when the sequester hit. The sequester is a drip, drip, drip undermining the operations of government and the strength of our country and the growth of our economy. Uh, so that uh, I think uh, your, your observation is correct. But I think the American people know uh, that uh, playing games with government operations is not what they expect from their Congress. They don't believe it's responsible. 72 to 75 percent of them said shutting down government is a bad uh, policy. And that's what we've seen uh, the, the Republicans uh, including Mr. DeSantis, had an opportunity the other night, I've had an, an opportunity a number of times, to vote for what we call a clean CR. That's just jargon for keeping the government operating. Just for at, just at, until November, yeah. At, by the way, just till uh, November 15th, at, by the way, which is very interesting, the Republican number. Right, the lower That's level not, of spending. It's not like there's a difference between a high number and a lower number we're trying to compromise. We have said, okay, that's your number. We'll, we'll support your number. The Republicans argue they keep coming to the table with less and less in terms of their demands, and Democrats just say no. There's one provision, in the, I believe, in the latest bill, which would repeal the Obamacare tax on medical devices that passed overwhelmingly in the Senate. Obviously, it has majority support in the House. Why not just, since everybody except for President Obama approves of it, why not just give them that and Jake, then move on? Just to clarify, there was a sense of the Senate, uh, 75, they're talking. No bill passed the Senate. Uh, okay, but let, the sense of the let, Senate in favor of repealing the medical device tax. Let them put a bill on the floor to repeal the medical uh, uh, tax, and let's vote on it uh, and move it to the Senate in the regular order. They talk a lot about the regular order. Don't lard up with extrinsic issues, with side issues. 
don't lard up the funding of the, mo of the government, one of the most basic responsibilities uh, that the Congress of the United States has. Uh, obviously, there are political differences. We know that. But funding the government, we can, we can argue about the level. We've taken their level, ought not to be an argument, and ought not to have literally hundreds of thousands of people now out of uh, uh, work, worried about the, uh, paying their mortgage payment, worried about whether or not they're going to be able to meet their bills uh, at the end of this month. That is not a responsible uh, management of the federal government. It's not a responsible majority in the House of Representatives. And they ought to support opening up government, uh, making sure that it is uh, operating for the American people. And then, yes, debate these differences we have. That's fair. That's what we ought to do in a democracy. Just not in this bill. Right. House Minority Whip, Steny Hoyer, Democrat of Maryland, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, Jake. When we come back.